I cannot take everything with me or something like this. No, exactly. Because you yeah. travel with not, not that much stuff, right? Yeah, suitcase, it's only yeah. like a one suitcase. <laughs> and that should be like a 23 kilograms. Oh, wow. That's it. Yeah. So your life is like, it's in 23 kilograms. Yeah, I think the <laughs> yeah. almost two crazy. years, yeah. it uh, was like this. Two years. Sure. What yeah. do you two, carry? Two, two, two years. years. Yeah. Two years, it was like this, yeah. We we got asked uh, to be ambassadors of the like the, the International Day of Freedom in our country, and I think um, with that question, there was a conversation with the seven of us of like, okay, what does that mean to us? And I think the first thing that we really felt is that we all of us we we grew up in a really privileged position. I think um, so. We really felt like we freedom is just a given to us, um, and so the most interesting thing question to us was like, okay, how does somebody feel that um, is in a really different position than us? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think that's mostly um, where this all started. Yeah, freedom is a really difficult thing to explain. Yeah, uh, when you have when it. You have have it. it. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Camille, nice to meet you. Hmm. Justin, nice Great to you here. Hi. Miles, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Jago, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah. A bit shy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of new oh, people. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I think that I don't want to act too much dram dramatization mm -hmm. on this situation because it can be too much difficult for mental health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's my actually a way to protect myself. It's a coping mechanism to... Yeah. Yeah, just like everything's okay, I should like uh, life going on and everything, but sometimes, yeah, I have this really like difficult feelings, uh, like even like start, start to cry and the everything that, oh, I just want to go home because my bicycle there, my <laughs> park there, and that, and in one moment, I, I hope I will have opportunity to back. To go back. Yeah. yeah. To go back to your bike and your park. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the bad and the good. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a, because that's a situation, right? So you have you found a new place to live, yeah. but you had to leave your your own home behind. So the diff how happy there you are that you found something, but how sad it is that you. No. And one of the. Do you, do you still have family in Moscow as well? Okay, one more pain dot. <laughs> yeah, uh, my mom's die. Uh, died already like uh, six years ago, I think, or seven, and uh, I'm kind of okay with it already. Mm. Like, but my father, for example, here in uh, Moscow, he uh, like lived in Ukraine until 18, mm -hmm. and then he moved to Russia to, to have education, to study there, and decide to stay in Russia and uh, mostly live in Russia. But he like support Putin's regime and all of the propaganda and call me like uh, Nazi, fascist, mm. uh, like Antichrist even. <laughs> in one moment, yeah, he called me Antichrist. Like, oh. <laughs> 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 I'm so big person. Yeah. Okay. Might be nice too in the when the bass comes in to kind of build it up. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Go higher. Yeah. It's no freedom of speech at all. You should be really careful because after the war started new laws. For example, if you were just text uh, somewhere in your social media, like I don't know, wherever. Well, uh, that's a war. It's bad or something. Just really simple stuff. Uh, you can go to the jail for seven, eight years. One of the action was in 2020. Mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, in a Putin's birthday. We uh, put rainbow flags in several uh, buildings in Moscow. One mm -hmm. of them was like a Minister of Culture and KGB building. And uh, uh, several days, like I just hide from police. Uh, because police catch one by one who was part of this action. Okay. 
but in one moment because of like I don't know stress anxiety and everything I just tired to be like an apartment of my friends and somewhere else and else and uh, fuck it I just went back home and yeah police just came in my apartment and uh, they have no that uh, how to say, they cannot in those moments broke my uh, door. Mm -hmm. okay. But it can happen after like uh, two days if they will just tarry to to wait, let's say. But it was like all the time knocking, knocking on your door. And on your door whilst you were inside your apartment. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like? Oh, it was terrible. I even, mm -hmm. for example, I, I think like, okay, it just, it, it's all like, uh, sorry for details. You can go in a toilet and hear like police like knocking yeah. in your door. Like it's t a terrible situation actually. And it starts to be like really clear for me that's okay, I can be all like uh, for forever in my apartments. It will, will be today or like after one week, but it yeah. can be like more difficult after one week just to get food, for example, yeah. or something. And yeah, I uh, contact with a lawyer and uh, we, like I just go out and go to police station, let's say. So you went out to the police station? Mm -hmm. what happened I mean, then? I go out from my apartment and police was already there yeah. Yeah. and they took me. Yeah. Okay, let's I do start. think it really works and like the third time you went up, that's mm -hmm. really beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, I think it's like it was actually here. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe you can say more about the song. Yeah, of course. Maybe it's nice for you to know like how we wrote it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's um, it's one of the first songs that I wrote for Sumier. And I think for me it was at a time where I, I, I didn't feel home in myself at all. And yeah, I was always looking, I think, in, in my surroundings for a, for a place to call home, but I, I kind of came to the realization that I had to like find that within myself. And it's been a song that a lot of people connected to throughout the years, and it's, it's been given uh, a lot of different... Um, we've been getting so many stories back from people um, who can relate to it and, and have their own feeling of home within that song. Um, I think it's so like actually beautiful. Maybe this song starts to be a home for some people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. For me, I've I've never. I think I've I have experienced how it feels to not feel at home within myself. Yeah. But I I don't have the experience of actually not having a home for a period. I'm I'm just really curious. Um, uh, the effect that had on you uh, not having a home for two years um, how, how that's how that's been yeah you just find something another what can be your home yeah. sometimes it's just memory mm -hmm. sometimes it's some small things yeah yeah to pack my bags and leave Oh, it's been a year and I know it's over I'm glad I'm walking out differently than I am That when I walked in, oh, my bag has straightened out again And finally I feel the air I breathe And I can say that I have become a light of me well, in your lights I'll always be Oh, I don't know where I am But it feels like home And I pull myself away When I don't feel like home Well, now I love myself again And it feels like 